Hi, hello and welcome to all. In this video, I'm just going to share some interesting facts and mysterious facts about Angkor Wat. But before entering into today's topic somewhat deeply, I want to share one quote to you. Practice to be kindness and practice to be a soft-hearted person to everyone around you. Because it will help you to live in the heaven while you are just living in this earth itself. Okay, now we can enter into today's topic somewhat deeply. Hey, wait. Why you took this temple as a today's topic? Is there any special behind this temple? What a question girl you are asking. This is the most biggest world's heritage place. It is one of the biggest Hindu temple and also the monument of the world. And also it is nearly 400 acres, nearly 1.6 square kilometers. And it is one listed as the UNESCO's World Heritage Site in the year 1992. Oh my god, is it real? Then am I saying lie in this video? Okay, okay, leave the thing aside. Start saying the other mysterious things about this temple. Even if you don't ask, I will say about this place. The first thing about this Angkor Wat is it is located in Cambodia. And just to show this world that we are having the best world's heritage in our country, they just kept the picture of this Angkor Wat in the center of the flag in the year 1850. And then the second thing is, first of all, the name of this place is not Angkor Wat until 16th century. The name of this place is Pineal Lok until the 16th century and this name is kept by the King Surya Varman II who built this temple in the 12th century and they are thinking that it may have took 30 years to build this temple and also they are thinking that nearly 3 lakh workers may have worked in this construction work and they may have 6,000 elephants just for uh, transport purpose and now the Angkor Wat is kept as a name for this place and the meaning of that is because it is an, a Cambodian language Angkor means city and capital city and then Wat means temple ground and also they are because of this reason they are calling that place that particular place as the temple city or the city of temple too and then the third thing is if it takes uh, some other temple means uh, there will be one only there will be only one religion in that temple they will just uh, worship only hinduism or buddhism or uh, islamic or something else but this temple has two religious things and that is buddhism and hinduism how it is possible don't be so shocked at all in the beginning period of time while they are building this uh, temple they just built it as a hindu worship temple like for vishnu bhavan and then after a few years after certain years after the revolution after more and more period of time because more and more kings may have ruled that place so after all these things this place had converted into an buddhist place and now it is a buddhist temple and then the fourth thing is every hinduism temple won't be in the side of west it won't face west side because it is the sunset side and the meaning of that is the end of life so they won't build in the face of in the temple by facing west side but this temple is facing the west side the side where the sunset will happen and they are thinking that this temple may be a fernal temple in the period of uh, in olden period of time and also they are saying that this temple will be so beautiful while the sunset is happening and then the fifth thing is they they just needed nearly and they just constructed this temple with nearly 5 million tons of sandstones and they just brought these stones to build this temple from uh, 50 kilometers away from this temple and they had built nearly 100 canals they had just digged 100 canals to bring all those stones from that 50 kilometer away to this temple and they just brought all these stones by just uh, cracking the one mountain which is nearly 50 kilometers away from this uh, temple and they are saying that one stone weights nearly 1500 kg and then the sixth thing is every hindu temple will mostly have more and more bas reliefs in it and this temple to have more and more bas reliefs in it and each and every bas relief say some story about the olden period of time and the olden people who lived in that place and then the seventh thing is this temple has nearly 180 lotus shaped towers and which is one of the scariest number of both hinduism and buddhism because 108 we just call that number for ambulance and more and more 
things and even now in the current scenario also this 108 number has a scary thing behind it so it is one of the scariest thing which we can see in the temple and then the eighth thing is they are saying that the astronomy has the biggest influence in this temple and also this temple has a particular place and you can view the sunset sunrise and then the view of moon from that place it is that place is just built just only to view all these things and while we are viewing all these things from that particular place we can see the beauty of all those things they are saying like that and also why they are saying that this place is related to astronomy is the axis of this temple is related to the solar year now the days of solar years and then the circumference of this temple is related to the lunar year days so because of that reason now more and more reasons are also there than this so because of these all reasons only they are saying that this temple is also related with the astronomy and then the ninth thing is this temple is surrounded with moat the depth of that moat is nearly 4 meter and then the width of that moat is nearly 200 meters and then the perimeter of that moat is nearly 5 kilometers this moat helps the temple to be in a stable groundwater level because of this moat the groundwater level of under the temple won't increase a lot and it won't decrease a lot even in any climatic situation and then at last we now came to the end of this video the tenth fact is beyond smile this is the thing which is just grabbed in the temple you in the stones and there are nearly 200 smileys like this in the temple i just attached a picture of that smiley here and you can see that it was is so weird while we are viewing it now itself so just imagine it while we are seeing it in a visual manner in a natural manner while we are standing in front of it at all so they are saying that and the people who are living there are believing that if you pray in front of this bay on smile then you will have a good luck in your life your life will be happy like that they are believing that and one important thing that you should follow if you want to enter into this temple is you should wear only the pants which is more length than your knees and then the second thing is you cannot wear any sleeveless tops at all your shoulders should be also covered they are thinking that it is one of the thing which you should do and it is one of the respect also they are thinking like that so because of that reason only they won't let any people who is wearing sleeveless tops or something like that into the temple okay okay stop if we let you will speak until you die Okay, let's we think you all like this video and thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, bye.